In the name of Allah, the absolutely merciful, the especially merciful. Glorified be he who took his slave Muhammad for a journey by night from al-Masjid al-Haram at Mecca to al-Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem, the neighborhood whereof we have blessed, in order that we might show him our signs. Verily, he is the all-hearer, the all-seer. Saying, Take not other than me as disposer of your affairs. O offspring of those whom we carried in the ship with Noah, verily, he was a grateful servant. And we decreed for the children of Israel in the scripture that indeed you would do mischief on the earth twice, and you will become tyrants and extremely arrogant. So when the promise came for the first of the two, we sent against you slaves of ours given to terrible warfare. They entered the very innermost parts of your homes, and it was a promise completely fulfilled. Then we gave you once again a return of victory over them, and we helped you with wealth and children, and made you more numerous in manpower. And we said, If you do good, you do good for your own selves, and if you do evil, you do it against yourselves. Then when the second promise came to pass, we permitted your enemies to make your faces sorrowful and to enter the mosque of Jerusalem as they had entered it before and to destroy with utter destruction all that fell in their hands. And we said in the Torah, It may be that your Lord may show mercy unto you, but if you return to sins, we shall return to our punishment. And we have made hell a prison for the disbelievers. Verily this Qur'an guides to that which is most just and right, and gives glad tidings to the believers who work deeds of righteousness, that they shall have a great reward, and that for those who believe not in the hereafter, we have prepared a painful punishment. And man invokes Allah for evil, as he invokes Allah for good, and man is ever hasty. And we have appointed the night and the day as two signs. Then we have made dark the sign of the night, while we have made the sign of the day illuminating, that you may seek bounty from your Lord, and that you may know the number of the years and the reckoning. And we have explained everything with full explanation. And we have fastened everyone's deeds to his neck, and on the day of resurrection we shall bring out for him a book which he will find wide open. It will be said to him, Read your book. You yourself are sufficient as a reckoner against you this day. Whoever goes right, then he goes right only for the benefit of his own self. And whoever goes astray, then he goes astray to his own loss. No one laden with burdens can bear the burden of another, and we never punish until we have sent a messenger. And when we decide to destroy a town, we send a definite order to those among them who are given the good things of this life. Then they transgress therein, and thus the word is justified against them. Then we destroy it with complete destruction. And how many generations have we destroyed after Noah? And sufficient is your Lord as an all-knower and all-beholder of the sins of his servants. Whoever wishes for the quick-passing, transitory enjoyment of this world, we readily grant him what we will for whom we like. Then afterwards we have appointed for him hell. He will burn therein, disgraced and rejected. And whoever desires the hereafter and strives for it, with the necessary effort due for it while being a believer, then such are the ones whose striving shall be appreciated, thanked, and rewarded. To each, these as well as those, we bestow from the bounties of your Lord, and the bounties of your Lord can never be forbidden. See how we prefer one above another in this world, and verily the hereafter will be greater in degrees and greater in preference. Do not set up with Allah any other God, or you will sit down reproved, forsaken. And your Lord has decreed that you worship none but Him, and that you be dutiful to your parents. If one of them or both of them attain old age in your life, do not say to them a word of disrespect, nor shout at them, but address them in terms of honor, and lower unto them the wing of submission and humility through mercy, and say, My Lord, bestow on them your mercy, as they did bring me up when I was small. Your Lord knows best what is in your inner selves. If you are righteous, 
then verily he is ever most forgiving to those who turn unto him again and again in obedience and in repentance, and give to the relative his due, and to the poor and to the wayfarer. But do not spend your wealth wastefully in the manner of a spendthrift. Verily, spendthrifts are brothers of the devils, and the devil is ever ungrateful to his Lord. And if you turn away from them, O Muhammad, and you are awaiting a mercy from your Lord for which you hope, then speak unto them a soft, kind word, and let not your hand be tied to your neck, nor stretch it forth to its utmost reach, so that you become blameworthy and in severe poverty. Truly your Lord enlarges the provision for whom he wills, and straightens it. Verily he is ever all-knower, all-seer of his servants. And do not kill your children for fear of poverty. We provide for them and for you. Surely the killing of them is a great sin. And do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Verily it is a great sin and an evil way. And do not kill anyone which Allah has forbidden, except for a just cause. And whoever is killed unjustly, we have given his heir the authority. But let him not exceed limits in the matter of taking life. Verily he is helped. And do not approach the orphan's property except to improve it until he attains the age of full strength, and fulfill every covenant. Verily, the covenant will be questioned about. And give full measure when you measure, and weigh with a balance that is straight. That is good and better in the end. And do not follow that of which you have no knowledge. Verily, the hearing and the sight and the heart of each of those you will be questioned. And walk not on the earth with conceit and arrogance. Verily, you can neither rend nor penetrate the earth, nor can you attain a stature like the mountains in height. This is of the wisdom which your Lord has revealed to you, O Muhammad. And do not set up with Allah any other god, lest you should be thrown into hell, blameworthy and rejected. As then your Lord preferred for you sons, and taken for himself from among the angels' daughters, verily, you utter an awful saying indeed. And surely we have explained in this Qur'an that they may take heed, but it increases them in nothing but aversion. Say, O Muhammad, if there had been other gods along with him as they assert, glorified and high be he from what they say. The seven heavens and the earth and all that is therein glorify him, and there is not a thing but glorifies his praise but you do not understand their glorification. Truly, he is ever forbearing, oft forgiving. And when you recite the Qur'an, we put between you and those who believe not in the hereafter an invisible veil, and we have put coverings over their hearts, lest they should understand it, and in their ears deafness. And when you make mention of your Lord alone in the Qur'an, they turn on their backs, fleeing in extreme dislikeness. We know best to that which they listen when they listen to you, and when they take secret counsel, behold, the wrongdoers say, You follow none but a bewitched man. See what examples they have put forward for you. So they have gone astray, and never can they find a way. And they say, When we are bones and fragments, would we really be resurrected a new creation? Say, O Muhammad, whether you be stones or iron, or some created thing that is yet greater in your breasts. Then they will say, Who shall bring us back? Say, He who created you first. Then they will shake their heads at you and say, When will that be? Say, Perhaps it is near. On the day when he will call you, and you will answer with his praise and obedience, and you will think that you have stayed but a little while, and say to my servants, that they should only say those words that are best. Satan verily sows disagreements among them. Surely Satan is to man a plain enemy. Your Lord knows you best. If he will, he will have mercy on you. Or if he will, he will punish you. And we have not sent you, Muhammad, as a guardian over them. And your Lord knows best all who are in the heavens and the earth. And indeed we have preferred some of the prophets above others. And to David we gave the Psalms. Say, O Muhammad, call unto those besides him 
whom you pretend. They have neither the power to remove the adversity from you, nor even to shift it from you to another person. Those whom they call upon desire for themselves means of access to their Lord, as to which of them should be the nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his punishment. Verily, the punishment of your Lord is something of which to be afraid, and there is not a town but we shall destroy it before the day of resurrection, or punish it with a severe punishment that is written in the book. And nothing stops us from sending the signs but that the people of old denied them. And we sent the she-camel to Thamud as a clear sign, but they did her wrong. And we did not send the signs except to warn and to make them afraid. And when we told you, Verily your Lord has encompassed mankind, and we made not the vision which we showed you, but a trial for mankind. And likewise the accursed tree in the Qur'an, we warn and make them afraid, but it only increases them in nothing but great disbelief, oppression, and disobedience to Allah. And when we said to the angels, Prostrate unto Adam, they prostrated, but Iblis did not. He said, Shall I prostrate to one whom you created from clay? He said, See, this one you have honored above me. If you give me respite to the day of resurrection, I will surely seize and mislead his offspring, all but a few. Allah said, Go, and whosoever of them follows you, surely hell will be the recompense of you all, an ample recompense. And befool those whom you can among them with your voice, and make assaults on them with your cavalry and your infantry. Mutually share with them wealth and children, and make promises to them, but Satan promises them nothing but deceit. Verily you have no authority over my servants, and all-sufficient is your Lord as a guardian. Your Lord is he who drives the ship for you through the sea, in order that you may seek of his bounty. Truly, he is ever most merciful towards you. And when harm touches you upon the sea, those that you call upon besides him vanish from you, except him. But when he brings you safely to land, you turn away, and man is ever ungrateful. Do you then feel secure that he will not cause a side of the land to swallow you up, or that he will not send against you a violent sandstorm? Then you shall find no one to guard you from the punishment. Or do you feel secure that he will not send you back a second time to the sea, and send against you a hurricane of wind, and drown you because of your disbelief? Then you will not find any avenger therein against us. And indeed we have honored the children of Adam, and we have carried them on land and sea, and have provided them with lawful good things, and have preferred them above many of those whom we have created with a marked preference. The day when we shall call together all human beings with their leaders. So whoever is given his record in his right hand, such will read their records, and they will not be dealt with unjustly in the least. And whoever is blind to the truth in this world will be blind in the hereafter, and more astray from the path. Verily, they were about to tempt you away from that which we have revealed unto you, O Muhammad, to fabricate something other than it against us. And then they would certainly have taken you as a friend. And had we not made you stand firm, you would nearly have inclined to them a little. In that case, we would have made you taste a double portion of punishment in this life, and a double portion after death. And then you would have found none to help you against us. And verily they were about to frighten you so much as to drive you out from the land. But in that case they would not have stayed therein after you, except for a little while. This was our way with the messengers we sent before you, O Muhammad, and you will not find any alteration in our way. Establish the prescribed prayer from midday till the darkness of the night, and recite the Qur'an in the early dawn. Verily, the recitation of the Qur'an in the early dawn is ever witnessed. And in some parts of the night, offer the prayer with it as an additional prayer for you. It may be that your Lord will raise you to a station of praise and glory, and say, My Lord, let my entry be good, and likewise my exit, 
and grant me from you an authority to help me. And say, Truth has come, and falsehood has vanished. Surely, falsehood is ever bound to vanish. And we send down from the Qur'an that which is a healing and mercy to those who believe. And it increases the wrongdoers nothing but loss. And when we bestow our grace on man, he turns away and becomes arrogant, far away from the right path. And when evil touches him, he is in great despair. Say, O Muhammad, each one does according to his way, and your Lord knows best of him whose path is right. And they ask you, O Muhammad, concerning the spirit. Say, the spirit is one of the things the knowledge of which is only with my Lord, and of knowledge you have been given only a little. And if we willed, we could surely take away that which we have revealed to you. Then you would find no protector for you against us in that respect. Say, if mankind and the jinns were together to produce the like of this Qur'an, they could not produce the like thereof, even if they helped one another. And indeed we have fully explained to mankind in this Qur'an every kind of similitude, but most of mankind refuse but disbelief. And they say, We shall not believe in you until you cause a spring to gush forth from the earth for us, or you have a garden of date palms and grapes, and cause rivers to gush forth in their midst abundantly, or you cause the heaven to fall upon us in pieces, as you have pretended, or you bring Allah and the angels before us face to face, or you have a house of adornable materials, or you ascend up into the sky, and even then we will put no faith in your ascension until you bring down for us a book that we would read. Say, O Muhammad, Glorified be my Lord above all the evil that they associate with him. Am I anything but a man sent as a messenger? And nothing prevented men from believing when the guidance came to them, except that they said, Has Allah sent a man as his messenger? Say, If there were on the earth angels walking about in peace and security, we should certainly have sent down for them from the heaven an angel as a messenger. Say, Sufficient is Allah for a witness between me and you. Verily, he is the all-knower, the all-seer of his servants. And he whom Allah guides is led aright. But he whom he sends astray, for such he will find no helpers and protectors besides him. And we shall gather them together on the day of resurrection, on their faces, blind, dumb, and deaf. Their abode will be hell. Whenever it abates, we shall increase for them the fierceness of the fire. That is their recompense, because they denied our signs and said, When we are bones and fragments, shall we really be raised up as a new creation? Do they not see that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, is able to create the likes of them? And he has decreed for them an appointed term whereof there is no doubt. But the wrongdoers refuse all but disbelief. Say, if you possess the treasure of the mercy of my Lord, then you would surely hold back for fear of being exhausted, and man is ever miserly. And indeed we gave to Moses nine clear signs. Ask then the children of Israel when he came to them. Then Pharaoh said to him, O Moses, I think you are indeed bewitched. Moses said, Verily you know that these signs have been sent down by none but the Lord of the heavens and the earth, as clear proofs, and I think you are indeed, O Pharaoh, doomed to destruction. So he resolved to turn them out of the land, but we drowned him and all who were with him. And we said to the children of Israel after him, Dwell in the land, then when the final and the last promise comes near, we shall bring you all together as a mixed crowd. Oh.